Hi guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome to another Matchbox Monday. So what we have here is um, the Handy Page Hayford. I built this a few years ago now, um, much like a lot of my uh, Revel and Matchbox kits. And this one I actually gave to my, my dad who was collecting a magazine at the time about uh, bombers. And I think you, you got a die cast I don't know if it was 172nd and 144 scale bomber, so like Lancaster, Avro Vulcan and the like. Um, I had to have a bit of a tidy out and so um, basically I, once I built this I gave this to my dad. So now he's having a bit of a clear out and so with my newfound enthusiasm for 172nd scale aircraft I asked him if I could have it back and, and of course he said yeah. So this was built straight out of the box. Um, no aftermarket decals on this or anything. Obviously the only thing that was added was the rigging, um, which you can see down here. So on this kit I did something slightly different. I didn't use the twine that you, you, you use. Uh, I didn't put holes in the wings and then pass the, the twine through. To, to the various points. This is actually a metal rod cut to length and then just super glued at either end. Uh, it was a bit awkward to do. Um, I don't think I've used the same process on another biplane and I'm not sure I will do it again. But uh, you know it, it went okay. It went okay. Whether it was better than using the twine and, and threading through the holes, I don't know. I just wanted to um, show you the uh, the props. You can, don't ask me how, but I managed to achieve like a, a wood grain on the props there. Um, turned out really nicely for me, so I was well chuffed with that. There's, there is uh, one or two pieces of damage on it. I have got the parts. We've got the front uh, windscreen here missing. And also one of the propeller bosses is missing over here, but I have got them. I uh, saw them in the box when I was collecting it from my dad, so I picked those up as well. Anyway, I'm glad to have this uh, model back in my uh, collection. It'll go on the shelf with the others. I'm sorry it's a bit dusty as well. I have tried to clean it up a bit. But uh, with the rigging on biplanes, it's a bit awkward sometimes to gain those nooks and crannies. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you uh, would subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thanks for watching.